Windows ARM laptops are getting better, slowly. If you asked anyone today why they are not considering getting a Windows ARM laptop, the simple answer is the lack of compatibility. Apple went through this pain many years ago, now with the release of their Apple Silicon Macs, and being an early adopter of those laptops was painful, but in the end, it was worth it. x86 CPUs from Intel that Apple used to use were inefficient and they ran super hot. Whenever my colleague with an Intel Mac would render a video, all of us in the room could hear the fans going wild. John, I'm talking about you. Now, Windows laptops don't have their own silicon and instead use Qualcomm Snapdragon ARM based CPUs, which are similar to Apple ones and are extremely efficient, which is a big win for laptops as it helps to improve battery life significantly. But today, a Windows ARM laptop is still not ideal. The first hurdle is gaming. Many games do now run on Windows ARM, but they usually have performance issues. Applications wise, things have gotten a lot better and in fact, Adobe even released support for ARM, meaning I could now technically use an ARM-based laptop to make a video. Heck, here at Surfshark, we too released an ARM-based Surfshark app, which is nice. That being said, should you get a Windows ARM PC in 2025? Honestly, no. There are still problems with certain device drivers like printers. Again, gaming is just not an option here. And even a Mac with translation layers will play games better. I never thought I would say that.